Today we'll be talking about Cole Palmer, the young English 21-year-old winger playing for Man City has been sensational over the past week. But news making rant is saying that he might not be there throughout the season. This is Football Intel. We are here to bring you news about football, the game that we love. Welcome back. So, what happens to Cole Palmer? If you can recall, he played so well during the Community Shield, coming in to replace Ellen Hallard, and he scored an amazing goal. Days after, he was also called upon to play during the Super Cup between Manchester City and Sevilla, and he scored one time. Then just within minutes after the game, Pep was questioned about this sensational boy who almost every media outlet had his name up there. But the news came out and it broke so many persons out there, their hearts, and uh, what's the news out there? The news out there is saying that Cole Palmer might not play with Manchester City as the season progresses. Raising. He wants more time. He wants to be assured of more time. One can't blame the young lad because he's 21. And from his journey, you find out that this guy has great potentials. And it seems that Manchester City are being a shine away from telling him that they will be able to give him time. And come to think of it, the young man does not want to be loaned out. He wants full assurances. Then the question, do you blame him? Personally, I don't blame him because this Manchester City team might just push him aside. Why do I say that? Because the Manchester City that we know, it took them time for them to even give Foden the time to play consistently. Even as he stands, one might even be doubtful whether Phil Foden will be getting enough time. Let's not also forget about Kevin Phillips that came from Leeds United. Has been struggling to get more time. What about Maximo, the Argentine that was signed 2023, January 2023? He's been able to play just two games. So you find out that Manchester City are about their stars. But again, just like Pep Guardiola said, that for the fact that the Algerian has left the team, that means that Cole might just be seeing that, okay, a vacuum has been created which he can fill the void. But it's not, ju it's not just that for Manchester City. If you follow Manchester City for a while now, you find out that they want the tested and the trusted to make their first 11. Then you ask, why can't they give this young lad more time? Why can't they tell him, okay, stay back, we'll give you more time. Let's hope that you come up with uh, amazing and dazzling results, just like the last two games that they had. If you recall back, this guy has been blood in, blood out of Manchester City. He started at the age of eight, got into the academy. He has been rising and rising and rising. In fact, at under 23, which he, he joined some, some years back, he has scored more than 30 goals as an under 23 player. And also, he has made it to the junior team of the English team. Then you ask, are these facts enough for a club as high as Manchester City to experiment this guy? Yes, I use the word experiment. Like I earlier said, this young lad might not just be given all the freedom because of where Manchester 
City is heading. They want to retain the Premier League and also retain the Champions League. So, could it also be that Manchester City does not want to risk it all? Maybe they just want to go out there and get Paqueta, which I think in the coming episode we'll talk more about him. Paqueta from, Man uh, from West Ham, the Brazilian. Remember that Kevin De Bruyne might not just be there for the next four months. And uh, there is a cry for a trite replacement for the next four months. And if Paqueta comes in, could it also be that he might be deployed to the right wing where Scott Palmer also operates from? Mind you, Scott is a versatile player. He can play from the right can play from the left even though yes he's less left footed but he can play from any any of these wing he can also play as a central midfielder these are the issues for manchester city but it's all good that manchester city are facing this kind of challenge where they know that they have some players behind the question now is how do they top up and top up but for some other clubs out there they are crying that they can't even uh, fan, factor out their first 11. Well, that will be all for today's episode on Football Intels. If you have been watching this show up to this moment, please help us by subscribing. Click on that like button and please share this video. Remember, as we say, this channel is out there to help young lads. Look at Kopama that we are talking about. He rose from the ranks from 8 years down to 21 years he's been stable reason because of the environment that he has found himself but in nigeria we have challenges that young lads don't last so so much because of maybe through injuries or not having enough support so from this channel we've uh, said it countless times that we are here to also support young talents in africa thanks for watching see you in the next episode